Uh, speaking with a friend today uh, who has been experiencing some crisis in her life. And I shared with her a story that I'm going to share with you now about grace and about how at any moment in our lives, no matter how out of hope we feel we are, no matter how entrenched we are in our thinking, or as in this case, in an addictive pattern, no matter what's going on, we are always one thought away from a new reality, from a new lease on life. So here's what happened to me. It was March 26th, 1984. I had been in a whirlwind of alcohol and drug abuse for a couple of years. Uh, my my uh, mailbox was overflowing, and I do mean literally overflowing, with uh, overdraw slips from my bank, overdraw notices. I had been missing work. I had been breaking commitments. I had been lying out my backside for a long time. And I had been kind of staving off the reality of this, not wanting to look at it in full-fledged denial, and at the same time worrying, uh, suspecting what was going on, but not wanting to cop to it. Well, this morning of March 26th, I woke up, and I was looking out the window of my apartment, and suddenly I was struck with the image that my life, my being, was a window that was about to shut. And I knew to the core of my being that I had a choice to make. And in that moment, everything changed. In that moment, I was moved to call my husband from whom I'd been estranged, um, to call my employer and say, look, I kind of think I have a teeny weeny alcohol and drug problem here. I called my banker, I said, I think I've got a drug and alcohol pro problem. Notice, I'm still just, I think I might have a problem. But nonetheless, I made these phone calls. I reached out. By the next day, I was in treatment. Um, now it is, what, 30 years, 30 plus years that I've been clean and sober. But the point I want to make is that everything changed for me in that moment. And I had done nothing I had done nothing to deserve it, to earn it, or to make it happen. It was a moment of grace. It was a moment of clarity. And my message to you is that those moments of grace and clarity are possible for every last one of us at any moment. We don't get to control when they happen, but we absolutely can count on them happening. And the degree to which we begin to settle in to the recognition that that kind of grace, those kinds of insights are possible for us, is the degree to which we begin to experience them more and more. So it's a message of hope. When you're out of ideas, you're one thought away, one moment of grace away from the best idea you've ever had. You don't have to do anything to earn it or deserve it. Just be there.